What's up, YouTube? What up, ladies and gents? It's another beautiful day here in my arcade, I guess. Um, it's your boy, Game Key, coming at you guys with, with Beard Love early in the morning. I haven't even had my first cup of coffee yet, and as you can see, I, I, I did kind of sleep in a hat, so I've got like this, this grease look to me. I, I don't like it. I got a shower after this. Um, but essentially, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to, a pro how to approach an individual who's, you know, already friendly with you and say, hey, we got this great idea. Let's make a team. Maybe we should uh, approach based on qualities. You know, um, we're rocking that Operation Supply Drop shirt. It is Military Appreciation Month. And I do want to say, hey, these guys here, Operation Supply Drop, they're an amazing charity dedicating their time to military service men and women, including our NATO and ANZAC allies, to provide entertainment where there is none, ladies and gents. They are providing entertainment where there is none. Definitely check them out. And definitely, definitely... I know I'm not looking down because my beard covers everything. But essentially, these guys here, definitely check them out. It is a worthwhile charity. I've been working with them for a year come June. Oh, my goodness. Wow. A year come June. Woohoo! We're almost there. We've almost had a year. We've already had a baby moment. You know, nine solid months. We have a baby in here. I've got a bun. It's come out of the oven, and we named it the Arcade, you know, Game Genie or Game Shark for all of you men and women out there who want to uh, identify male or female roles. Game Genies for women, Game Sharks for men because we're always on the hunt. You know how it is. Anyway, how to approach an individual. This is what I want to talk about. This is something that I will say I'm, I'm speaking from an experience um, that happened to me a little while ago. But uh, on a safer note, this is how you guys want to do it already. You know, if, if you're part of a team or an organization, uh, what have you, if you're streaming or you're YouTubing or you're having a good old time with your friends and you decide you want to be in front of a camera or talk on a camera or on a or become a face of something else, definitely speak with the members, get to know them, and understand who they are, even for a brief moment, as an individual. You know, they're not that team member. They're they're a supporter to an amazing cause. For myself, I am a supporter of Operation Supply Drop and everything that this stands for, guys. You got your your games over here. You got the care package dropping. Operation Supply Drop. I mean, military veterans, stateside or out across the globe, I'm all for it. I mean, give those service men and women some entertainment where there is none, where it's much needed to keep their mind off their daily job, their grind, and the issues they can't face here and now. So why not? You want to approach your individual person like, hey, um, just heads up. Uh, you know, you send out that email like, hey, here's the changes that's going on. Here's what's taking place. Here's the new changes. We already have that stuff in place here at Operation Supply Drop. We already have that going on. There's a huge community set in place, and people are sending out those emails, getting those contacts out there. They're letting us know changes, stuff going on with the website, what's going on in the Discord, what's going on with events in the community, what's going on for, you know, Warrior Wednesday or Operation Supply Drop uh, team uh, based events where you've got streamers who are participating in the games that they want to share and you know explain and sh and just have a good experience with you as a community. Um, these events are going every weekend, guys. Every weekend. So here's the thing: there are a ton of Operation Supply Drop streamers. I know I may not get a time slot. I know this. I may not be interested in the game. I may not voice my opinion about 
topics that I've missed out on. Um, I could only see voicing out my opinion on a topic if it's in a forum manner. Um, I believe a lot of you folks out there, or you know, down below in like Twitch or Twitch comments. Wow, um, YouTube comments. My goodness, uh, the YouTube comments. I get it. You know, that's something that's always there. You guys feed off each other. You guys read past posts, blog, uh, and keep up through that forum commenting style because it's always there. Um, I feel like with Discord nowadays, you can have a conversation going and you've missed out on the past two, three hundred lines because there's like... 40 or 50 people in the community talking all at once. Everyone's taking part in the conversations. And then you're checking through like eight or nine different text channels. Don't forget what's going down like live in the other voice channels. If you're not in that room already, it's kind of like TeamSpeak. If you're not there, you're missing out. You can see the activity going on, but you're missing out on that conversation. So it's, you know, like choose wisely kind of a thing. Same with, same with text uh, or chat conversations, guys, in Discord. Definitely, definitely, if if you're want, wanting to be a part of a conversation, read it, read up. Even if you're not going to chime in, maybe they're talking about that new graphics card that NVIDIA put out, that new 1080. Oh, my goodness. I'm a little jealous because I bought my 980 Ti last fall, and guess what? Oh, it's $600? Oh, that 1080 coming out is $600. Oh, what a bust. I could have waited. I could have bought, you know, a, a, a 4 gig graphics card. I should have bought a 960. Darn it. That would have saved me, you know, $400. And I could have used the money I saved to just buy the 1080, which is double the performance of the Titan. You know, it's, you know, it's like two Titans in one with, you know, 8 gigs of RAM and... All sorts of performance craziness. Insane! Because no game's going to use all of that video card. But guess, guess what? $600. I'll, I'll spend $600 for a brand spanking new graphics card that uh, NVIDIA put out. And, well, hmm, 980 Ti. 10%, about 10% less performance to the Titan. Just, just hold on. And the 1080, that's now twice the performance of a Titan. Hmm. One was at six. One was at 600 last year. The the, the 980 Ti. It, it, I'm very sure it dropped now. I'm I'm pretty sure once the 1080 comes out this year at 600 dollars, I'm not gonna buy a 980 Ti at 600 dollars. I'm going to buy a 1080 at $600. And you can get like a special edition of it for an extra 100 Just like the 1070 card that's also, you know, it's a $400 price range. You know, you're going to pay $500 or $700 based on which one you're getting. The 1070 or the 1080. And whether or not you want like the first day collector's one that has like some special features. Or maybe, you know, some customized uh, graphics card plate. Whatever. I think I want the 1080, Two, the, the the double the performance of a Titan. Yeah, I'm going to go 1080, guys. That's, that's it. I'm going to dump all my money in it. Got it. <sighs> but that's, that's the discussion. That's how it is, ladies and gents. And I want you to, I want you, I want folks to understand that when you're already giving a team or a group a task, and then you come out of the woodwork and you're like, I'm going to scrub you guys. Um, sorry, you're not doing enough. Um, this is the new changes. Here's what's coming out. And you're going to have to do more. I'm sorry, guys, but you're, you're just not team members. You're not. Um, it, that rubs me the wrong way. It really does. It's actually been hurting. It, it has questioned me as a streamer for two days. For two days, my internet is down. I can't broadcast like I want to, but I can't host who I want. I can't hang out with who I want. I'm not bad-mouthing anyone, but I'm saying this is how you need to approach people. 
You're a streamer. You're an individual streamer yourself. You have your own brand. You have your own marketing ploys. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. You're trying to do the right thing by yourself and by a community that you support. Okay? Well, you also have to understand that <laughs> no one was there to hold my hand. <laughs> I'm not holding yours. I can give you all the experience. I can tell you all the tips that have worked for me and I can tell you as a broadcaster where to look how to look how to search what you're gonna find potential uh, aspects of what could be added to your stream that's not me that is not me and I'm not you what works for you may not work for me what works for me may not work for you 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 and all of those other beautiful people out there it it just may not you know it's it's everyone's different there's different strokes for different folks ladies and gents and i can tell you everyone on twitch is broadcasting they're all busting their butt doing the right thing and guess what everyone has a different approach everybody because you can look to your left and to your right and we're all doing the same thing in our own way just like um my friend dizzy disaster put it you know different strokes for different folks ladies and gents again <laughs> what works for you may not work for me and vice versa um i can look at uh for example the coalition stream team coalition that's coke carnage eloheim clam taco bruce lee you know doc got game you've got a lot of big names out there anthony conf essentially the who of who of twitch and everybody has their own show everybody is different everyone dares to be different because if we were all the same pansy mansy you know go-to streamers we'd all be in pleasantville and everybody would be perfect and we would all have communities to look up to well again dare to be different find something you love find it guys i'm i'm telling you guys google what you want to do if you saw it in somebody else's stream and you're like hey how do you do that and they say search this and you see a list of things that show up guess what i guarantee that one thing you're trying to do in your stream you're gonna find 10 different brand new ideas while you're searching for that one thing and guess what that's what's gonna make you different what you pick and choose while you're searching to do that one thing i wanted to learn how to incorporate sounds into my stream well guess what I learned about deep bot. I learned how to incorporate those sounds as commands. I learned about some microphone techniques. I learned about some audio equipment. I learned about how to implement sounds uh, in multiple ways. I can either do them on my number pad uh, as some kind of uh, function, which I'm still trying to figure that one out, or you can go get a soundboard and program all the sounds into it or you can you know there's so many ways ladies and gents so many ways to get out there and do the right thing <sighs> which then brings me to my next topic of discussion within the how to do things when you approach a, uh, a, the team and you tell them you know again we're making changes this is how it's going we need you to do more did you ask of them more before did you ask for forum conversation did you ask for team speak discord curse voice uh, YouTube networks Facebooking Twitter groups uh, video game uh, uh, communities did you ask for all this stuff before no don't ask of them more if everything was set in stone one way before and now you're asking for them to do you know two three four ten times the amount of stuff before they even had to be a team member think about it think about it that's gonna literally push people away when you demand more you're pushing people away don't shove it down 
people's throats. Don't do it. The audience isn't going to like it. The broadcaster's not going to like it. Hell, that broadcaster may not be interested in the games over the weekend. That broadcaster may not be like, I had a terrible experience in Doom. It was too violent. I didn't like it. It was the same game as before, just with a brand new HD skin, and it was terrible. Which we all know that's not true because we all love Doom as is. I love Doom. I want it. I want the new Doom. I can't get it. That's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. I might have it for uh, Horror Month in October, so I can't wait for that. Things that we can plan for in the future. Planning. Whew. That's a big one. This goes this is all a part of that. Planning is the biggest thing here. This is what we're doing. It's proper planning, ladies and gents. It's how you push out a system without actually like You're gonna do this now or you're gonna lose your spot on the team. Sorry, brother. That's just how it is. No. It's not like that, ladies and gents. It's not. Um, just like, you know, it it wasn't pushed like that on me either. But when you're told like you you've got to do all this stuff and oh you're not in all of these streams you're not taking part in all of these other activities that's going on and did you ever stop to think that maybe me the broadcaster is not interested in the game and not interested in the conversation sorry i'm i'm not going to put my two cents in where it doesn't belong if if, if I got to tell you that I don't like a game, maybe I didn't respond. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't respond. I'm just saying. Okay? Um, that That's for a lot of broadcasters out there. That's for a lot of streamers, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of individuals. You're not going to go out there and buy that game you don't want, right? You're not going to be like, I'm going to go grab a game that I hate. I'm going to go pay top shelf money for that. I'm going to go shell out 60 or or $100 on the Founders Pack. Or I'm going to go pre-order it for 150 bucks because it's got all that stuff I don't want on it. You know what? And it, I'm just going to sit it off to the side after I spend two hours on it with a community here. And I'm just like, that was a waste of 120 150 or just $60 or the pre-order whatever deal happens to be um you don't know, think about it ladies and gents think about it you know you you're gonna play what you like you're gonna play what interests you you're going to play what is holding your interest what's capturing you as a viewer a fan a gamer so that's first and foremost and if you're on a team ladies and gents if you're on a team and someone's asking you hey are you interested in this game and they're not forcing it down your throat give them an honest opinion on the game please please do you're either interested in it you're you're saying yeah i want that game hell yeah i'll definitely play that if i'm getting it if i'm buying it i'm gonna tell them I'm buying it. Don't worry about sending me. Don't worry about sending me a key. I've already got my copy. I'm already gonna buy my copy. Save that key for a giveaway. Give it to another community member who can't afford it. That kind of thing, ladies and gents. That's what builds a community on top of everything else. This is how you're gonna retain viewers. You know, someone who has an interest for a game, Overwatch, for instance. I've been about Overwatch for like eight, nine months last year. Hey, you're in the new beta. Um, Q, sorry you didn't get in right now. Man, dang it. <sighs> hey, you're in the new beta Q right now. You're, 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 you know, sorry you didn't get in. We're, we still got you on the list, man. Shoot, what am I doing wrong? Hey, man, you're in the beta Q. You didn't make it again. We're sorry, man. You're, you're still in line for the beta next month. Hey, man, I'm tired of it. I, I got tired of always waiting. I got tired of waiting. I saw everyone else having a good old time. I'm sure Soda Poppin' and a lot of, you know, Lyric and Dance Gaming and these bigger, bigger-than-life broadcasters 
also had the same feeling. I know Soda Poppin didn't get in right away because I saw on social media how pissed off he was about not getting in. I saw it firsthand, just like a lot of you. And I get it. My goodness, I get it. Okay? Yo, thank you for the host as well, fam. Like it happens man. to the best of us and the worst of us. So think about that. You know, they didn't select based on broadcaster and who's getting the most attention no they didn't they were like you're in the queue or you're not that's it period everyone's equal and that's just how it went um the other side part of this whole conversation is uh go to the members who honestly purely want to support the game who are 100 percent excited about the game who want to be a part of the event who have time for the event and are saying hell yes get me in there i will do whatever hours you want one hour four hours 12 hours 24 hours regardless i want to be a part of that game don't look at your members and say dude you're the last guy i got i'm sorry dude but you've got to make this time are you with me I get it if someone skipped out on their time slot. I get it. But don't pressure somebody into a situation and then actually use it against them if they're not interested in the game or they do not have the time to spare or already broadcasted and are already consumed with time management for work, school, family, kids, wife, their own personal problems, their own issues. Don't pressure people. Don't pressure people. Please. Please, oh, please do not pressure people. Ask. Be polite. Be courteous. Talk to people how you would like to be talked to. Hold on, folks. I have a phone call. I'm looking. A discount for you. What is this? Hello? 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 And I got a buzz, and that was that. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, ladies and gents, um, definitely go to the people who are showing the interest. Go to them. They're your friends. They're your teammates. They're your community members. Please, even, even this, if they're not a regular broadcaster, this might be their big break. This might be the game for them. This might be it. All right, ladies and gents. So think about it, you know. It, it can be anyone's big break at any given time on Twitch, on YouTube, regardless of your platform, Hitbox, um, what's the other one? Oh, wait, it's it's YouTube, YouTube Gaming, um, duh. Um, my, I'm having a brain fart. I haven't had my coffee. I've been up all night. Like, this kind of stuff has been messing with me for two days, and now I'm finally getting it off my chest with you guys. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I understand your time is precious, as always. I understand your time is precious. So I want to thank you right in the middle of this video. I want to thank you for your time, you know, for hanging out here, chilling with us, regardless if it's Twitch or YouTube in my case, because, you know, I, I, I broadcast on that Twitch platform, you know, with the purple thingy and the cube, and, you know, sometimes everyone has that little button they press, and it just kind of, like, goes off into that no-no place, and then you got to fart. Um, so, yeah, uh, leading on to all those other things. <laughs> because in my world, everyone poops rainbows and eats butterflies or some goofiness like that. But uh, in 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 all seriousness I want to thank you guys for your time it is precious I know I'm not the only broadcaster on Twitch I am I know I am not the only YouTube channel on Twi on uh, YouTube either I mean hell there's PewDiePie 12 million plus and growing and growing um, I, I get it you guys are taking your time the most precious thing we have and you're hanging out here with me Thank you, guys. Or you're hanging out with us on Twitch. Oh, my goodness. That's a huge thank you. So, my goodness. Thank you so much. You know, and welcome to the arcade. Yeah. Because this is what we do. This is the excitement. I'm like, yes. 
I'm sorry I can't be like this everywhere. And what you just heard was my internet literally disconnecting. It was like, uh-uh, nope, I'm not touching that button. No, sir. My Discord was like, you've lost voice chat. We're down right now. Please leave your message after the beep. Beep. Oh, my goodness. Time water. We need internet. But I'm not yelling at them. I'm not. And again, if you're on a team, please, please, please understand that, uh, you know, the team, the team matters, the individual matters. Okay? I get it. You know, the team is supposed to work together. We're supposed to make that brand huge. We're supposed to make it take off in the community. It's supposed to be soaring into the sky in the wild blue yonder. Um, I don't know the rest of the Air Force. Uh, hem, I'm sorry, guys. You know, but uh, it, it, it's, it's, you know, we, I understand that we're supposed to grow together, we're supposed to work together, do things together, collaborate together, play together, and promote together in a uniform or similar fashion. I, I understand, guys. I do. And I want you guys to understand as well, don't be forcible. Don't force people. If there's change, if there's lots of change, lots of change, gradually do it. Do it over time. Hey, we'd like to see a little more activity in the forums. Month or two down the line. Hey, you know, we see you're not as active in Discord do you like using the Discord, or do you like the forums more, or do you like speaking with us in Skype, or, or TeamSpeak, or Discord, or Curse Voice, or what, what is the platform that works best for you? You know, what, what's working for you as an individual? How, how are you able to promote? You know, what's your best angle? Okay, we're going to work with that. Okay, work with these uh, regulations on YouTube, okay? You're going to advertise in your description, like we're going to down below with all of our fun stuff and our sponsors. Well, I would I say sponsors, but more like referral links and where you can help the stream down below and where you can help the charity down below and what this is all about. It's, it's that easy, guys. Just gradually do it over time. Gradually do it, okay? It's not that hard. It's not, ladies and gents. It's not. And I want you guys to take part. You know, leave your comments down below if you can. If you feel that it's worth your time, leave your comments down below, okay? Feel free to do it. I'm going to read every single one of them. Why? Regardless, troll or not. Helpful or not, positive or negative, I'm going to read that comment. I'm going to take away something that I can I can learn, or or a way to improve myself. Okay, that I take critical, you know, I take criticism pretty pretty good, but I don't take kindly to myself as a broadcaster being questioned and how much I do for a team. Or an organization or in anything uh, lightly when someone says you're not participating what do you mean I'm not participating tell me what's going on you don't support us um, don't support I got a hat I got a hoodie hell my my keys say Operation Supply Drop, wherever I go. My keys. I got this badass bottle opener, ladies and gents. That's a round. Who, who can say they have this as a bottle opener? I mean, look at that. That's pretty sick. I, I bought the bundle for the bottle opener and the keychain. Th this is all I wanted out of that bundle. I didn't care about all. I didn't care about a wristband. I didn't care about a hat. I didn't care about a t-shirt. I was like, I get a dog tag and I get this sweet bottle opener. This is me. I get soda, I get soda bottles that aren't twist off. Got a bottle opener. Yes, 
I drink an alcoholic beverage from time to time called a beer. Yeah, we got a bottle opener for that too, my friend. Oh, yeah. And I don't drink often. Guys, I don't do drunk streams. I never will be doing drunk streams. And if I have a drunk moment and it's able to be put on YouTube without being flagged for like, you know, all of that terms of service stuff that you can't do on Twitch, then yeah, I'll think about putting that video up there. I'll think about it because, um, uh, you know, how is it they're, they're, they put it in the court system? Here's exhibit A. His rear end is exhibit B. Let's watch exhibit A disappear into exhibit B in show-stopping show fashion. Let's go. No, no. All right. But last and foremost, be kind and courteous to everyone you meet, ladies and gents. You never know who's watching. It could be your sponsor right now. It could be a lucrative offer that's going to come in the uh, email or through a Twitch message or through a Skype call when they look at, you know, one of your handy dandy business cards. Okay. And it's going to, for me, you know, I like, I like my bright side. Look at that. I don't know if you guys are going to get that. Yep, Twitch streamer, welcome to the arcade. Yes, ladies and gents, welcome to the arcade. You know, I'm Game Key. This is where, you know, we keep entertainment open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Unless, you know, Mother Nature strikes us down and she says, No power for you! No internet for you! Or our internet service provider is just like, I don't know what's going on! We can't stop the system! It's becoming sentient! And our internet goes down. They're like, nope. And then, uh, you know, if those things happen, well, there's no stream. There's no YouTube video post. There's no none of that. But until those things happen, ladies and gents, we are going to be providing you the world's greatest entertainment at all times. Thanks to our friends at Operation Supply Drop, all of our charity and Operation Supply Drop supporters, military, veteran, civilian supporters, whether they're broadcasting on Twitch, hanging out on Twitch, or whether or not they just love supporting the gaming community. You know, you have your Milspec team, those members who are definitely chosen through their forums, the work they do, and how much they love Operation Supply Drop and all of the causes that it supports. And on top of that, you, you know, here in the arcade, I'm all about charity. I'm all about these things, ladies and gents. It's 110% when it's for charity up in here. I love it. The energy is what has pulled me to Twitch. The energy, the excitement, the love and passion for gaming. The things that I don't want to stop doing because I love being here with you guys and interacting in my first time game experiences and we get to share it together. We get to share it together. That's important to me. Community interaction is important. And this is why we host 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, when we do not have a stream in the arcade with this man, this beard, Game Key. When we don't have it going, I look to our friends, our community vote, our community voted picks, our community chosen broadcasters, our community chosen games that they play, our community chosen everything. So I'm sorry if I'm not, you know, living, breathing, sleeping, and eating a team-based uh, event, function, stream, I'm sorry if I'm not a part of it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I am a broadcaster, and I do respect the fact that you guys took the time to speak with me, and I just, you know, may have become upset about something that happened. Maybe I lost that um, stream team label. Maybe I didn't know it was being compacted into another label that was already out. 
Um, and this, these are things I like talking about with you guys. And I'm not putting in anyone out there on blast. I'm not. That you don't, you don't, you don't put anyone out on blast. It, you just, it's not a good thing. You know, there's all of this drama on YouTube. Okay, drama for the sake of drama on YouTube is one thing. Now, drama for the sake of drama on Twitch is completely different. We all saw what happened to our friends, Gross Gore and Crepo. We already saw what happened to, honestly, a handful of Twitch broadcasters that had a lot of drama surrounding their channels. Their channels either went down for a day with a 24-hour ban, came down with a 30-day ban or a week-long ban, or literally are gone. We don't hear about them anymore. So don't, don't name drop anyone. Don't cause drama don't cause problems that would hurt you as a broadcaster from promoting your own brand you just don't do it ladies and gents and i'm here to tell you guys please please as one gamer to another do not bash on somebody and and think it's okay someone else your sponsor might look at you and say we're done dude we're done that's it i'm i'm you know, I'm picking up shop and I'm moving somewhere else because you were just that harsh. You were that harsh, ladies and gents. You were that bad to another individual. And we are not about that kind of a life here. We are not about supporting that kind of a branding or that kind of a marketing tool. We are not about, you know, slinging mud into another broadcasters channel and making their community think yours is better because you decided to do something morally wrong think about it ladies and gents approaching people i love you guys i don't want to stop being around you guys not having internet is is literally eating away at me because all these new games that are coming out, I just saw a list of JRPGs coming out this year and next year and things that are unfolding for games like Persona 5, I want to talk more about it, Kingdom Hearts 3, No Man's Sky, uh, Neo, you know, Neo that like, uh, Onimusha, Dark Souls-ish style game. I want to talk about these games, but, you know, if if you do the wrong thing, then well... You can lose all that. You can. All right, ladies and gents. I, I know it's been like almost something like 40 minutes to an hour long stream already. I'm I'm going to cut it here, you know. And if you guys want to know more, feel free to ask away. Ask questions. I'm going to, you know, share my experiences with you guys every bit of it. The good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to tell you what to do, what not to do, how to share with others when you you think it could be a bad thing. I didn't name drop anybody, so therefore that's a great thing. And that fight or the argument or the problem may or may not have actually happened, but this is an experience where I can say, I had the experience, it may have happened. This is YouTube. It may not have happened. This is YouTube. So, think about that, ladies and gents, because everything you see out there on the internet may and may not have actually happened. Everything you hear on the internet may and may not have actually happened. But guess what? I'm here to share what I know about being a broadcaster, how I've come across people, and to understand the way to promote what I have as my own individual broadcaster. Not because of these guys, you know, right here. Not because of... Operation Supply Drop! Ah. No, not because of these guys. It's because I love working with these guys. And it's because I love what I do as an individual streamer on my own channel. I love doing both. And when you take the time from your individual stream and you broadcast for a charity, it, it does shed some light, not only one, creating awareness for the charity, the organization and what they do again operation supply drop.org ladies and gents get over there and check it out we're gonna have links down in the description down below and honestly it's military appreciation month why wouldn't you want to check them out again this is game key enjoying my time here 
with you guys, ladies, gents, children, fans of all ages of video games. It's been a little bit of a rant. This is, you know, going into the What's Up playlist. And, you know, we're going to hang out and chill some more. We have a lot more to discuss. We have a ton of topics to talk about. Because I feel like I just can't get to everything while I'm on Twitch. Really focusing on a video game. So, again, like, comment, and subscribe, ladies and gents. Because it is never over in the arcade. And you can always press that continue for more. Because who doesn't love Contra Code? For 30 plus lives. Who doesn't love always being able to press start in Street Fighter. And continuing where you left off. Think about that one. Or Sonic man. We didn't have a save until Sonic 3. We did not have a save file. Let alone a password. Like Metroid on the 8-bit NES. So yeah ladies and gents. I love you guys. I want to share everything I know with you all. And if you do have a question about streaming, how to get with a team, how to broadcast or market yourself, feel free to do so. I'll share everything I've been doing. And honestly, there's nothing I haven't done yet when it comes to learning how to grow. I'm the guy who's done all the how to grow guides. I've looked at all of them and it's not rushing me, but we're growing. So networking is your best friend. Get out there, make some friends, have a good time and chill. See what that organization's all about. See what that discord's all about. See what game wisps all about. Hell, who knows? Maybe you're going to get partnered on Twitch for working with an organization, ladies and gents. I bid you farewell, good day, good night, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Game Key is leaving the arcade. Later, folks. And stick around for the incoming hosts, because that entertainment is here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Alright, I'm going to shut up now, so that way this YouTube video can end. Later, everybody!